Oh, there's Devon. Lovely left up there, John. Well, they're caught by the left hand, and he's in trouble and gone down inside the first few seconds. Only some 25 seconds, and he laughs at his own misfortune. Is it going to continue? Lee Innes is going to have a very close look at him. The crowd wants it to continue. The referee says no, and it's all over. Daniel Dubois is the winner. He ended up trying to land big shots. Marcus Kelly only took the fight at eight days' notice. Daniel Dubois. taking them bravely but you wonder how many more he can take and he's gone he's gone I think that could be the end of the contest big headshots going through and the power of Dubois almost finished Mendua and the referee for me he should be stopping this here and he has done staggering around and Daniel Dubois in the second round another imposing That's the one that misses. This is the one that connects. Bang on the chin. Super punch from And he says that AJ Carter is an improving fighter, but the big test is going to be whether or not he can take the power of Daniel Dubois. He'll be looking to spear him. Oh my goodness! First shot is landed. The chopping right hand and Carter down. Yeah, incredible, John, wasn't it? He seemed to. Walk, literally walked to the corner right from the opening bell. So um, Carter caught early. And he's looking to put him away again in this opening round. And he goes down for a second time. The right hand again, detonating on his head in a similar spot to the first, which put him down. So two knockdowns. Referee Lee Cook is looking carefully. And now, oh, that's surely it. Massive right hand, and it is all over in the first round. And a colossal right hand from Daniel Dubois. 
and Carter with that, I think, has been knocked cold. Yeah, the super shot um, finished the job off there, John, wasn't it? But um, Carter... It looks as though Dart is about to go the same way. Massive right hand, and this time it's all over. It's all over, ended in the second round. Yeah, brave kid Dart getting up and wanting to continue. Just a matter of time until Dubois landed again with another good right hand. One two combination was effective tonight for Dubois. And it's another knockout. He's going to step in. Big right hand again from Dubois, and another, and one straight down the middle. He can go now. He fires one back, and he's gone. It's going to be all over there. I think it could have finished a moment or two earlier than it did. But emphatically for Daniel Dubois, he's got rid of an awkward man who sinks down disconsolately. He gave it everything. He did a good job of that for the first couple of rounds. But a good, great learning fight for Dubai, and that's at this age of 20 years of age, Steve Benz been going on over that as well. He, it's just learning fight, he's got to keep learning the trade while you're young. Little's been more ambitious since he's been hurt. Being told to go to the neutral corner. And the referee not having a word with Dubai saying just get on with it. He looks as though he is poised now. He's really starting to run. Big shots and the ref stopped it. He stopped it. Body shots. He was right on top. Tom Little hated it when it came. He said it could have continued. But Dubois landing more huge body shots. And referee Terry O'Connor saying enough is enough. He was getting beat. Seem Rackman is sitting at ringside, not too far away from where we are. He's over here with Travis Reeves, former world heavyweight champion who memorably beat Lennox Lewis back in 2001. Oh, yeah, we'll go with our left hand. And another one. Oh, and he's caught him with the left to the jaw, followed by the right hand, and he goes down. Got away with those low punches. But the gloves came down, and I don't think Koshinu is going to get up. He's trying, he's trying manfully, but it's been waved all over. And it is finished in the second round. Koshinu disappointed, but it's celebration time for Daniel Dubois. It was a clean shot that left under the chin.